Hey everyone, today's video we're going to be installing 13 recess can lights. Well, not exactly. We're replacing recess cans and we're replacing them with this LED retrofit insert. These are the cans that are in here. So it's the recess can, a trim with a bulb. We've got four in the living room here. We've got four off the same switch and a dimmer in the living room. Then we've got five in the kitchen that are off a switch. And then we've got the se separate one over the kitchen here, right there. And then we've got three down the hallway and then the basement, but I'm just doing the upstairs for now with the 13 that we've got here. So these started out with incandescent bulbs, but those were not efficient and bad color. So we placed them with LED bulbs, but those LED bulbs have been slowly dropping out after only being in for about a year and a half, two years. And other than completely going, the bulbs have gone so much dimmer. They started out at 500 lumens, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were only about 300 now. Whenever you put a brand new bulb in beside the old ones, it's drastically brighter. So we're gonna replace these with these. So I bought these in 5000K color. That's the color that I want. These are 700 lumens each, which is better than the 500. Lots of people find 5000K too white, which I can understand it for certain houses, but this one being gray and white colors, it is what you want because yellow just makes the whites look bad. Let's take a look at this light that we're working with here. Ordered these all on Amazon. I could have got them from the wholesaler by my house, but with a lot more money. So hopefully these are decent. This is what they look like. They're not a bulb to go in the in the trim. This replaces the old trim and this will go into the can. So I could probably leave that plugged in actually, but if we want, it will unplug. So yeah, that's our light. So I'm gonna pull down our old can here. Now there's really no sense in turning it off. There's really the most that's gonna hurt you is from heat if it was a hot bulb. But other than that, it's just like unscrewing a light bulb pretty well. Let's take out our old bulb first. Wish they are pretty warm on the base. Now I can pull down our can. Which basically you just don't want to stick your finger all the way in and touch the tab at the back. And watch that those don't snap your fingers. So then this bit, our trim, can pop out if we push in these little metal tabs here. Now we can take this bit, which is what takes which is what goes into this socket here and which will then go into our new insert so that will get pushed back up there and we can plug in our new light and there you have it so we can tuck this all up. Maybe you can tell a difference there. That's our new one. So they're a lot brighter. All right, next one.
Now the tabs on these cans can be a little bit too tight, but they want to push the can up. So it can be better to just pinch them in a little bit. All right, that's the four in here installed. Some of them are a pain to get flush because these cans up there are so badly attached that the cans just want to push up, so they're a huge pain. But that's definitely, that's better than the old ones were certainly a lot brighter. Now let's do the kitchen. You really gotta hit them hard because the can will just push up, so you just gotta go quick and push it up before the can's got a chance to move on you. I think these cans look a lot better even when they're turned off because these ones, they go kind of deep and there's like a dark spot behind the bulb where these ones aren't like that. So I could have gone with ones that were completely flush, but I think the semi-flush looks a little bit more, uh, I don't know, it just looks a little more fancy to me turn you off too. So on lens like this, like this can was a huge pain because the can wanted to push up. I will actually tape the can. I'll put tape on the side of the can and tape it to the ceiling. And then afterwards I'll cut the tape and peel it off. So it's basically the only way to get it in there with that can to not move away on you. Perfect. Yay, this can's actually attached properly. So much easier. I know it looks really aggressive, but it's really what you gotta do to get this thing to work properly.
All right, that should be the kitchen done. That's those yellow lights that look terrible. Oh, way brighter. All right, that is the installation of these 13 um, retrofit cans installed. Not sure what you'd call them. I guess a LED retrofit insert. It's not really a can, it's the LED fixture all in one thing. So replacing the can and the, or replacing the old insert or the old trim and the, and the old bulb. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.